This is Robin Bremer, author of Kingdom, Justice, and Liberty for All, and Feed Your People with Joy, Feed My People with Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. And today I have one of those scriptures that just makes me go, wow, wow, wow. In fact, I am so excited about it that I couldn't wait till I got home to record it. I wanted to record it right now, right here in Walmart parking lot. And um, it's something that I've been <clears throat> meditating on for about a year. I've just been knowing that there's something deeper there. And, and just one of my favorite study areas is... Genesis 1, 2, and 3. Just those, there is so much power in those scriptures. So, well, what I wanted to point out to you is in the Garden of Eden, God put a, a tree that was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay, the tree of knowledge. Okay, the tree of knowledge. The tree of knowledge of what? Of good and evil. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay. So he put Adam in the garden to tend it and to keep it. And he said, <clears throat> have dominion, um, take, you know, have dominion and subdue and multiply and replenish the earth with the Garden of Eden to expand it, to make it bigger. So, um, he said that then, let's go to scripture, um, oh, Genesis 1, uh, Genesis Yet, uh, well, Genesis 1, I don't know where it is. Anyway, in Genesis, Adam and Eve, the Satan came up to Adam and Eve, and he used the serpent's body and talked to him and, and tempted him to eat the, from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So, then, okay, right <laughs> before that, it said, and they were naked and they were not ashamed. It says, and they were naked and they were not ashamed three times. So I think it's trying to make a point. They were naked and they were not ashamed. Okay? Not ashamed. Okay. Well, then you go. <clears throat> that is um, Genesis 2.25 is one of those. They said they were naked and they were not ashamed. Then you go to 3.10 and 11. And that's when Adam went and hid himself when he heard God walking. He hid himself from God's presence. And God said, where are you? And he says, I'm here. I hid myself. I was afraid. Um because I was naked you know what God's response was he didn't say Adam you sinned you idiot why'd you sin he didn't say Adam I mean you ate from the tree I told you not to do you know what God said he said who 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 told you you were naked so see three times earlier it says he was naked and not ashamed then it said I hid myself because I was naked and then God said, who, who told you you were naked? Who, who are you hearing? Who are you listening to? Who are you believing? Who accused you? Who told you you were naked? And I thought, wow. So right there, it showed me something. It showed me that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil shows you right not even right and wrong. It shows you knowledge. Okay. The knowledge before was they were naked and they were not ashamed. The knowledge afterwards was they were naked and they were ashamed. So I believe that the, from what God's showing me, the tree is a uh, type of the law. The law gives you the knowledge of good and evil. Um, Commandments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gives you the knowledge of good and evil. Okay? Just like the, and, and that is the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But when grace comes along, which is God's favor, Jesus did not die to take away our sin, Jesus died to reconcile us to God. And in order to reconcile us to God, he had to take away sin. Because the knowledge of sin and being sin conscious is from the knowledge of the tree of good and evil, a fruit from that. And to he has to take that away and replace that with grace. And grace is um, giving us something we don't deserve. Grace is favor. So God, the law, he put the law in place because he had because man 
now knew the difference between good and evil. They had the knowledge. So he, he showed them, okay, here's what you should and shouldn't do. Because they had the knowledge. He had to work with what they had. So when Jesus died and paid the price for our sin and fulfilled all the law, he took away the law, and he came as truth and grace, then sin and the knowledge of the tree of good and evil is no longer applied because you're in Christ Jesus so now you're reconciled back to God so your relationship and focus should now be where it was in the Garden of Adam in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve was it was a relationship walking and talking with God in the cool of the day uh, taking authority and subduing and having dominion on the earth naming the animals um, putting the devil in his place and so on so that's what it all comes down to